And are the health concerns that people face in the future, is there a realistic attitude towards that? No, the the uh, the nuclear industry is saying that there'll be about a hundred cancers as a result of these four nuclear accidents, and and frankly, uh, you know, I've I've said, and my analysis shows that it'll be closer to a million. So, um, the the same people they trusted back before the accident are telling them now. Well, first, they told them an accident couldn't happen, and now they're telling them that uh, the consequences are are minimal. And there's a, a great distrust for both Tokyo Electric. And um, NISA, the regulator, the equivalent of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission, um, they simply don't trust their authorities and uh, uh, and are looking elsewhere for uh, for scientific information. Well, why would you think a million people would get cancer? You know, I got that number um, from uh, going back over the records on Three Mile Island in Chernobyl, and um, and did some ratios, uh, of course. Um, this this accident released something on the order of 100 to 1,000 times more radiation than uh, than TMI and uh, and and um, comparable levels, perhaps three times more noble gases than Chernobyl and perhaps a little bit less cesium than Chernobyl, but but comparable, coupled with the fact that it's a higher population density in Japan than I, than at either site. There's some epidemiological data out of uh, TMI. That shows a uh, statistically meaningful 20% increase in lung cancer um, in the five years after the accident by Dr. Stephen Wing down in uh, North Carolina. So the, the, using that evidence and, and ratioing for the amount uh, that was released in the population density, um, I'm coming up with something on the order of a million cancers. We're seeing that already. Um, there was 4,000 kids were tested just in the last couple months. And almost half of them had thyroid nodules. Now, normally, um, about 1% or 2% of kids would have thyroid nodules. So we're seeing an enormous increase on a cancer precursor um, for thyroid cancers in a, popul in a sample size of about 4,000 kids. So um, I'm also seeing um, samples from indoor um, uh, dust. We're getting people sending us vacuum cleaner bags. And... Uh, the indoor dust in these homes is astronomical. One one bag that was tested over in Europe came back with 100,000 disintegrations every second in a two-pound vacuum cleaner bag. So that's on the floors in their home. And, of course, the Japanese sleep on the floor and and, and, and essentially live on the floor for, um, you know, where they sit on the floor and things like that. So internal contamination in Japan um, will be a significant factor, and neither the Japanese government nor the... Uh, International Atomic Energy Agency has taken that into account when they do their numbers. 